Hallelujah. You are welcome to Prevailing Life. My name is Pastor Joseph Adenuga. The title of today's message is Godly Wisdom. Godly Wisdom. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, from verse 5 to 9, it talks about wisdom. It says, How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Hallelujah. This passage of scripture is telling us four types of wisdom. The first type of wisdom, we get it correctly in the book of James chapter 3, and when we read from verse 13 to 17, it talks about the first kind of wisdom, which is earthly wisdom. Earthly wisdom is that wisdom that God gave to every living thing. There is no living thing on planet Earth that is not given wisdom. Even plants are given wisdom. There are some plants, when you touch them, they close up. They are called sensitive plants. Because they have wisdom. They know when they are touched. They can discern favorable and non-favorable conditions. When you cover a plant with something, that plant will find expression to come out from where, from another place. Plants are given wisdom to survive. Every living thing is given wisdom to survive. Now, if you don't believe it, why is it that when you see a group of birds and you shoot a gun, they all fly away? They have their wisdom. They know that there is a danger. When they hear the shot of a gun, they know that is a sign of a danger. They run away for their lives. Every living thing on earth is given certain dimension of wisdom. Human beings are also given earthly wisdom. When a child is born to any family, that child possesses this earthly wisdom. He knows when he's hungry, he cries. And when you give the breast milk, he doesn't put it in the nose because he knows that the mouth is the place from where he feeds. That is earthly wisdom. Earthly wisdom is given to every living thing. And this earthly wisdom is given for, man, for living things to survive and live long on planet. You get that. You have to understand that. That is very important. Now, the second type of wisdom is called the sensual wisdom. Sensual wisdom is the intellectual wisdom. That is what we go to school to acquire. When you go to school to read any course, you are gaining sensual wisdom. Because that is intelligent, that is based on refining your mind, that is based on building up yourself through academic process. This wisdom is very good. This wisdom has helped mankind. It has helped us to develop our world. And this wisdom is not in animals. You understand? So this wisdom is not in animal because this wisdom is only given to man. And that is why man has excelled more than any other animal. And that is why I used to tell people, and I will continue to say it, man is not an animal. Man is a creature of God, created in the image of God to dominate his world. Man is a special, you know, being created by God to rule his world. So man is not an animal because there is no animal that have this sensual wisdom that God gave to man. Hallelujah. Now the third type of wisdom is diabolical wisdom. This diabolical wisdom is of the devil. And this is the wisdom the devil uses to destroy and this is the wisdom the devil is using to attack every man, even you and me. But we go to the fourth wisdom, which is the wisdom of God. This is the wisdom that excels. This is the wisdom that you need. This is the wisdom I want you to pray for. This is the wisdom that Solomon asked. And when Solomon asked this wisdom, God gave him everything he would ever need in his life. You need this wisdom, my brother. You need this wisdom, my sister. Go for the wisdom of God. Go for the divine wisdom. Go for the wisdom of God. I see you lifted and blessed. It is well with your soul. Thank you for listening. Be blessed and remain blessed.